Um, you know, I think we all got a pass in the last 18 months. The, the trouble we went through was trying to convince someone that in our business or the companies we do work for that social media was worthwhile. And then once we participated, we got kudos no matter what. I mean, like, let's sort of say it like it is. Just being in Twitter in a lot of cases got us some kudos from the customers. And now here we are a year later, and you know, I think the question we need to ask, and this question goes to you, is how do we scale this? I, I asked our monitoring vendors uh, back there how many tweets you got that mentioned your name, and it was 650,000 in the last 30 days. And you did say, you know, participate in people's lives. So how, do we, how does a company either scale this, or how do we set the expectation that just because we have this one-on-one -on -one connection, that I can't one-on-one -on -one connect with each and every one of you? Or, or what, what do you think about your future there? Yeah, it, it's a very difficult question because, I mean, how many people are on Twitter already? It's over 100 million people. Um, and then if you have just one person managing one account like I am, and then others managing other accounts, I mean, you could have 20 people in an account, and it's still impossible to keep up with how many people will be talking about your company and how many people will be actually reaching out to your company. So the best thing is to try to respond to everybody either person in, in public or privately as much as you can, and then start setting, really looking at back where I, where I talked about your business goals and your marketing goals of knowing what those are and, and trying to ramp up with both people and tools. I think that's why companies like Nielsen and Radiant Civics and Sysimos are able to be out there developing the tools that they're developing because if you can engage with people with these tools, it'll be, it'll be really helpful. And even things like CodeTweet.com, it helps us collaborate uh, between accounts and between some of our people at Samsung. So how can you scale? Uh, people talk about social CRM and I hope that that day comes when we can actually have something like that. But today I think it's just planning of how do we ramp up for next month and the next month and the month after so that you can have more people in, in there to be able to try to respond because eventually if Twitter gets to the point of Facebook, I don't know if you can respond to everybody the way that we do right now. Yeah. I mean, we only have 16,000 followers right now, which is not that much. I can't imagine having 3 million followers um, with one person, so we have to start planning to that for that, and, and I think it will be different for every company. Are there other questions? I can hog the microphone the whole time, but I... Okay, I'm going to keep going. Um, so you kind of invented your job. You sort of positioned what you wanted to do. They, I think they, they liked what they saw and, and hired you to do this job. How do you think your role is going to evolve, even sort of as a follow-up to the scale question? What do, you, what do you think social media roles are going to be in Samsung or in other, other companies? Yeah, I think, I mean, people talk about social media and eventually it's just going to be the web. It's just going to be, I mean, you can call it a social web. But for us, it's, it's within a, a digital marketing team. For other companies, I can imagine being on their PR or on their advertising or maybe with an agency. But I think as the web becomes more social, it's going to be part of that digital marketing team where it really fully integrates with everything that you do. Instead of having like a, a brand manager, a product manager, just sending you an email and letting you know, hey, we're doing all this, you know, for, we've been working on it for four months, tweet about it. It's going to be part of everybody's job to understand how social media works. Just the way that we understand, okay, an ad runs on television and people watch it. I think people are going to have to get a culture where everybody understands how the tools work, what the value is, and, and people like me will hopefully be setting more of a, a strategy of how do we really talk to people, and like you were, you were saying, trying to scale to the point where you can respond, whether it's on Twitter or Facebook, or you know the next hundred social websites that might come up in the next year or so. Okay, the lady here, we can get you the microphone. There was another question. Hi. Um, in one of your dues, you said to follow, uh, just follow us. So we have a common argument in our group of who do we follow. Uh, so I just want to get your thoughts on that because uh, you know, obviously we're following people that have concerns with the organization so that we can obviously talk to them directly. But then we also look at it and say, okay, well, we've got all these other yeah, I, I think what I what I might have meant there was follow follow back. So if somebody follows you, um, be selective. There's a lot of bots and a lot of 
random accounts with one two followers. We actually manage our followers, so we'll use something like manage Twitter on, on Google Chrome. I don't know if you ever use that. And we, we actually unfollow people that seem like their boss is spam. But then who do you actually want to follow as you search? And for Samsung, it's, it's easy, but at the same time, it's complex because a lot of people say the word Samsung every day, and most of them are not in the United States because it's a global company. So I would follow people that might be in your country or region talking about your company. And another way of doing it is I just retweet randomly. Somebody says, I love my Samsung moment. I will retweet them, and I'll say thank you for taking the time to talk about Samsung. And then they'll follow us, and they'll follow them back. So I think it depends case by case, but just be actively searching, have your searches saved, and, and always be looking for people. But I think another point I made is don't stalk people because other people might feel like, oh wait, this Samsung company is following me. And I've heard that. And people have told me to my face, like, be careful because I don't like that. So it's, you know, it, it doesn't always work, but it's, impo it's important to be managing all the time. On the other side of that, on the other side of that, then you have the concern of some folks that say, I don't, they're offended if you don't follow them. You've got some people that are offended if you don't, and some people that are right. you are, and you're stalking them. More. Right. So I think the, the important thing is are they real people? Do they really care about your company? And then if they have a problem with you following them, then make sure you unfollow them. But I think it's kind of easy to tell, okay, this looks like a, a picture of the out of some random forum and it doesn't look real, they have one follower, they're following 3,000 people, this doesn't look like a real person, so why would we, why would we follow that? They tweet the same link over and over again. Right. 